Hello everyone, I'm Dark Point Luigi and welcome back to more Let's Play of Amnesia Obscurity and we're continuing forth on our adventure and we're almost, pretty much almost done with the game actually. Come along now Elizabeth, don't fall behind. I don't like it down here. It's dark and these shoes are my feet. Just a little bit further, okay? Daddy, why do I have to wear this dress? It's too fancy. It's for the ceremony. You're supposed to dress up nice. If it's such an important ceremony, why isn't Simon coming? Your brother doesn't need to come. The ceremony is about you, remember? Yeah, but I still don't understand. Oh, man! Oh! <laughs> that was a good one, Mr. Poofer. That, that, that was real nice, Mr. Poofer. I, I enjoyed that very much. You can commence with your scares now, Mr. Poofer. That was really well thought out. Alright, whatever. Let's let's just continue on. Oh crap! Not again! Oh boy. It always like requires a key. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I know it requires a key. We're gonna have to come back to that later. All right, let's go this way. Let's just go. All right. We can't really do anything in here. I just want to show you what's down here. He hadn't been burning from opening, opening this door. The door is leading deep, deeper into the mines of Spockman, but, but, but okay, maybe there's another way through. Oh, remember this screen from the main game? Yeah, you obviously need to... You, you probably you need to stop it by machine. But, in the main game, you need a, you need a pipe to stop the machine, but... Nope, it's completely the other way around. Alright, alright, whatever, let's just go this way, I guess. I'm guessing. I'm so guessing. Alright, into the storage we go! Into the storage, man. Alrighty, buddy. Moving on. Moving right along. Need no more monsters. Sure! Th those creatures, they, they're intelligent beings. As long as I keep providing them with sacrifices, they will stay on, they stay on the ground and don't harm me. I put together a small group of consisting of me, William, and a few other trusted individuals. I'm the leader, and I've told them that this must be kept a secret. The villagers will never approve of my actions, but I know I'm doing the right thing. It mu I must be. I have a confession, however. It pays me to, to admit this, but after my so many sacrifices, it almost becomes soothing. The smell of their blood, the sound of ripping flesh. Maybe this is just a sign that fate wants me to continue. This is my destiny. destiny. Wow! You are so screwed, good sir. You are so screwed up. Seriously. How can you live with yourself? Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh no. 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 Monster was right there. Oh jeez. Don't you do that. You better not be here anymore. Oh man. Christopher, I accidentally dropped the key into the, to the machine room into the grate. I have no way of reaching it. Either a new one will have to be made, or we have to find a way to obtain this one. Oh 
Okay. Need a key. Can can see the key down there. There needs to be a way to reach it. That there will be. Alright, let's down here. Uh -huh. A string. Pick myself up the string. Get myself a string, man. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this pipe looks like it's been repaired recently. Hammer! Alright! Now that fills up the water! Yay! Progress. Wait, no. Not the right room. Not even the right room. Come on, here we go. Use the string. Alright, I successfully retrieved the key with a piece of string. Alright, machine room key. Obtained. Now we can leave. Please, no more monsters. Please. I know there's no more, so... No need to worry. Oh, crap! Oh, I... Oh, no! I jinxed it! I so jinxed it! I don't care about that stupid dinner box! I don't care about one single dinner box! No way! Okay. Oh man. Knew that was gonna happen. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh crap. No. Oh. Oh. Ow. No. No, you don't! Dang it! I knew you were gonna do that. I just completely knew it. You know what? You're just a jerk. You're just such a big fat jerk. I really hope I'm going the right way. No, of course, of course I'm not. Oh, I need to find that one room. I must find it. Alright, here we go. This is it. This is the place. Let's use this key. Alright, close that there. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. I just completely knew I was gonna get killed. Alright, use this. Alright. Now, it's officially stopped, and now the monster's going to appear. Yeah, that's just exactly what's going to happen. Another freaking monster. Freaking babies. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That would have made this made it, that would made this would have made it a lot better if they added a water monster. Now that we've done that in here, that would have been a lot better and more scarier. But no, it didn't. They did not do that. But 
Anyways, let's just go into the nameless room. The nameless room. Oh no. What is gonna happen? Oh. We've arrived. But there's nothing here. The others will be arriving shortly. The ceremony is about to begin. What others? Daddy, I want to leave. You'll be able to leave soon, Elizabeth. Just lie down on the table and drink this. After I finish, can I go home? Yes, of course you can, dear. This will only take a minute. A minute before she dies! You're so screwed up. So screwed up, man. How can you even live with yourself? Uh, not much to, to go about in here. This is just a sacrifice room. Hello? Is anyone there? Please help me. Who's there? Simon? Is that you? How did you get down here? I haven't seen you since you were a child. Father? What happened? I'm, I'm trapped. A rock fell on my arm and crushed it. And I, I can't move. Please help me. I'll help you. But first, you have to tell me what really happened to Elizabeth. I killed her. Sacrificed her. I, 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 I did what was necessary. Did what was necessary? What are you talking about? You murdered your own daughter. Please. Please understand. They, they made me do it. I, I, I had no other choice. Who? Who made you do it? The, the communion. I, I was in too deep. They, they told me there was no other way. And why should I trust you? Please, there, there should be a saw in the lab. I, I must remove my arm. Retrieve it for me and, I, and I'll tell you the rest. Yeah, the key was slid under the door. That key. My father has been trapped in a cave and needs to saw the count himself out. Yeah, I don't believe him one bit. Ooh, yeah, that was—that's nice. That is real nice. I see what they did there. So I'm guessing we're supposed to go the other side. To the other side. Pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. This room looks very creepy. Very, very creepy. Case there's a monster monster. Ooh, Lottie. Yeah, hey, Lottie. Oh, I didn't reference, of course. Bone sock obtained. Now we can go. Hopefully no monsters. Okay. We're so close. Alright, so that's where it is. Here you go, man. You said you'd explain everything. What really happened to Elizabeth? Their father killed her. I knew it! I knew it, man! I you're just not, knew it! You're not making any sense. What's going on here? Are you that dense? 
I'm not your father. To be honest, I'm surprised you believe me. What? Your father died years ago. Right about after his sister was sacrificed. He couldn't handle the guilt, I guess. He was such a coward. Who are you? I'm the one who orchestrated it. Crazy! <laughs> Am I? These sacrifices were necessary. Without them, the entire village would be attacked. And you know, the end is always justified. Oh, crap! Oh no, no, I'm not I'm not here to be fed upon since What? I'm leaving. Not, not so fast. I need to prepare you for the ritual. You better run. <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! Don't look back. Don't even look back. Holy crap, that's broken open. Running. Running now. Running. Running, 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 running. Oh man. Oh boy. No! He's naked! Him. He looks really small. Okay. No! Why? Why does this have to happen? It's time to pick the next sacrifice. Put the names in here, and I'll pick one at random. Alright. Let's get this over with. What? Why are you looking at me like that? It's... Elizabeth. Huh? That... That's not possible. William, you know the rules. Elizabeth must be the next sacrifice. Please. Please, don't do this, I beg you. Sorry, but we can't just back out. When my wife was chosen last month, I accepted it. That's the risk You're of mad! This. I... I won't let you do this. She's my only daughter. If you resist, then I'll make sure that the rest of your family's next. It's in your best interest to just let this happen. You'll regret it if you don't. Here, Elizabeth. I want you to have this necklace. It's very pretty. I like it very much. Thank you, Daddy. It's for your ceremony in a few days. I want you to look nice. You'll be able to leave soon, Elizabeth. Just lie down on the table and drink this. After I finish, can I go home? Yes, of course you can, dear. This will only take a minute. As I found my way out of the mines, I decided I'd never look back. I had my answers. There was nothing more for me here. I wandered along the road for almost a day before stumbling upon the carriage. They kindly took me back to London. Through documentation and letters, I discovered my mother was still alive living alone in a small flat in Oxford. She was surprised to see me, and the stress of old age was replaced with relief and happiness. 
She took me to Elizabeth's grave, in a town not far from Crescent Village. We stood there in silence. All was well. At least, until the nightmares started again. The dreams, they didn't stop. They haunted me like before. I just couldn't seem to let go of my past. There was still something I had to do. There was something I missed. Weeks passed, until one day in the morning paper, an article caught my eye. Body found, mutilated beyond identification. The location was near Crescent Village. They were hungry. There were no sacrifices for them to feed on anymore. I realized what I had to do. I pushed for the reopening of the mines in Crescent Village, claiming they were still rich with materials. The newly reopened mine attracted many workers and their families, desperate to make some money. Crescent Village was populated again. I started bringing the demons their sacrifices, one by one. It was difficult at first. I remembered what the man from the mines told me. The end justifies the means. I realized that this was for the greater good. It had to be. This was my destiny. Eventually, sacrificing became routine. I started staying to watch the creatures feed upon their victims. Such elegance in the way that would tear the flesh. Such beauty when the blood flowed out in streams. They were satisfied. And oddly, so was I. Wow. You're just so done. You're just so done. Anyways, yeah, this is the end of Obscurity. This is like one of the best, if not the best, custom story ever. It's definitely in my top three. Thank you so much, Electric Red, for making this. Oh man. This is so epic. Those are the cast! Thank you, Tre- Treggy! Pelisto! Don Prats! Measuring! Okay. Thanks for playing! Thank you very much! I enjoyed it! And I was so worried I wasn't even gonna- because I was gonna get like lost beyond beyond all imagination, but nope, it's over. My first time completing this. Come on. There we go. The end. This is the end. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next custom story. So if you like this part, before be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment. And if you want updates on my channel, be sure to join on Twitter. It'll be in the description below. I'll see you guys next time for my next custom story. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out!